Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to look how to make animations in Start Art Breather. Art Breather, one of the first AI uh, online services that come up where you can create different characters as well. You can create uh, landscape and different other assets. But biggest are also interesting way you can create the animation. Let's go ahead and start working on one of the video. And as we're going along, I will explain how does the art breather create animations and how does it work. The, of course, you will notice um, we can start with the uh, not collager slicer. It's what we want to do. And we'll go and click on the video. In the video, we have a different options, different options which allowed us um, the algorithm on art breather AI to figure out what the best way to blend. We'll go in with the landscape. So as we're opening with landscape, you can see I already pre-create some of those um, past. So we'll go create, click on brand new. We have a main window open where we can upload, or actually this is preview on the bottom where we can upload or link files that we wanted. One thing when you click open, you'll notice you have it um, options, the start created, uploaded, it's what I want to do to go and in upload, I have all these different images that I upload previously to Art Breather. Um, this has allowed us to combine and change some of those images as we're going. So I'm going to select maybe a few images. Uh, let's see what we have here. We have it created. Okay, we can do from created images. We can select from uploaded, from random. Okay, we have options. Um, you know what? Maybe we should try from already pre-created. I think that will be better even. So let's do this way. So right here, I have some images that was created as landscape with the art breather, and I'm going to select one image. Okay, let's go ahead to add another one. Maybe add this one, add green. I'm just going to select all the different type of the images that I think may kind of interesting, you know, create landscape. You can also create more from the faces and I'll show you in a second how we can do this. Right now we start with the, uh, okay, I already duplicate that. Let's different ones. Let's select this and maybe this one. So I'm just going to select all these different. Um, the very interesting experiment, what I did right here, I morph one image and you can see create like from lava, all this stuff and kind of from lava to the green and this is create very very interesting actually effect but i think this is will work enough for us okay so let's look what we have it this is the bottom it's our timeline okay right here is in the formation what we have it usually i animation at least 24 frames per second this is give it more natural look to us we can animate a minimum about 12 frames per second and some animations will do mostly if you work with like disco diffusion and uh, you pre-animate it for example like right here this is was i done animation with disco diffusion but this was done with 12 frames per second and you can see 12 frames it's have this jiggery kind of effect somewhat animation type effect and reason is an animation was done with low frames it just to make it easy to do because in um all days and i say all days it's probably in the 80s i done cell shading animation the traditional animation where i draw by hand every cell and it was nightmare to create them because take forever so usually what people do they create like 12 frames uh, and after multiply them to create 24 but as a result you have these more cartoonish style not fluid liquid animations so in our case we're going to use 24 frames and that should work for us very well so let's go see what we have right here. On the bottom, you can see we have it, our images. The one thing what I want to do is actually reorganize them. How we can do, we can just drag and drop them. So like right here, you know what? Let's put this on a bit. And I will start with kind of molding lava maybe. Let's go with this. And after we take, I think this is two same, so I'll delete one. And we'll go and bring another one closer. So it's kind of makes sense, you know, like planet growing, maybe going to a little bit more rocky. And let's go after, select where we have it, mountains. This is green, green, let's put green away here. This is put before green. And 
we'll maybe put this one right here. You can rearrange how you want. It doesn't really um, matter. Be sure you're just keeping theme it kind of together. That will help quite a bit if you um, adjust, but it's not really very, very um, important. You can do animation anyway. So right here, for example, you saw reorganizing very easy. If we need to add right here, we have it plus, we can plus and add additional image. So let's see. Next, you notice, let's look what we have below. This is our image. We had export, delete, add new. But see right here, this line, this is how the morphing happens. So animations is actually happen with some AI algorithm. That's not truly blending. It's look for some features and try to blend those features first. But it is actually blending animation. So what is meaning? It's try to blend from frame to frame. Okay. Um, right now it's a straight linear. I don't necessarily like this type of um, animation. So I don't like linear. I like the easy in and out. So what it does, it's create this start very slow, accelerating and slow stop. It's give it a very natural, very pleasant look. And almost any animation where I've created, like ball drop down or something, it's almost always easy in and out. And we can just go and select all as different. You can see you have all these different options. You can select quad cube. It's how fast accelerated. For example, if we go with the quad, you can see how fast, it's slow, 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 very fast. And again, slow down. But we'll just give it easy one. So we'll go on the first one. And we'll just select all of them because we want to be sure they're all right here. Oh, there you go. I think that's all. Next what part of this, it's two seconds. By default, two seconds is not bad. But if we want landscape creating, we want a little bit more than two seconds. Because just imagine you're going one and two, and you actually split through the transitions already and through the image itself. So I will say probably maybe 10 seconds because we will have it about two, three seconds on start, two, three seconds on end between them blending. So we'll have it saying one, two, three. So we can actually just, let's go put it two, two and right here we'll put a 10, 10 and two, two. So let's go preview. So as we're creating preview, you can see how it's blending. And it's this smooth, nice blending because we have it plenty of the time. However, when we come closer to the two seconds, you will notice how fast it will be going. So right now we're on this one and now it will be two seconds. And see how fast it starts changing. It definitely, it's, you cannot even see backgrounds. So good. Maybe okay for the slideshow, but I don't think it's work for us, at least for me. And I want to be sure I have it all of this. So I'll just put it 10 seconds on everyone. The minus side of this everything come with a price and the price for this it's how many frames we need to render so if you notice right here i'm putting 10 10 and i'm putting up amount of frames is increasing and art breather will charge you per frame so for example if i go check on my um the account, you'll notice how many frames I'm using. I have it about 8,000 frames left, so it's okay for me to do this. But it is also take 10 seconds. Um, I don't know if a 10 seconds will be okay or not in this case, but I will keep it for now. 11 images, I think that is good. And it's all. It's very simple to do with this image. So this is kind of simple way to create your landscape and everything. Notice it is a square. I don't necessarily if I like square or I like white frame a little bit better, but for the test right now should be enough. Very simple, very easy to do. The hardest part is how I say it's probably understand what is this curve does, but it is how fast it start blending in. Keep in mind, it's not blending as one get more transparent than other ones. It's blending by features. And when we render, you'll notice this, it start recognize some features, AI and blending. It's why I like this one a little bit more better looking than other ones. So let's go ahead, we click generate. And right here says it's processing because it's take time, it will email to me. So before before the completed, let's go do on another project, which kind of can be very interesting as well. So we'll go to our breeder again on the beginning. And let's go click plus and we'll go to slicer again. Let's go to the video and the video I want to create portrait. So we'll create new one. 
notice right here i already created from 10 images and this is actually what i want to do again we can go click on this image and see what's happening right here this is image and you can see as i create different portrait this is portraits was generated with uh mid journey and in the mid journey i just type it young girl baby red hair so and you can specify the most important for me was keeping eye on the same place that is actually very very nice but also art breeder will uh, crop image when you upload it so if you have some specific image and you say it's portrait and it's longer it's actually will crop down and upload it this way okay and i think it best if i show you so let's go ahead and uploading and we'll go just a main slicer let's go right here let's go in upload i want to upload portraits notice it says let's go click button upload and from here i'll select this handsome guy let's create upload again upload is limited so reset by monthly but if you purchase it will go right here and you notice it was loading all of them it's put in a queue because it's actually processing what i mean by processing it's try identify portrait and make it square like some of these elements because this is what a bit longer portrait and it's make it squarish so let's wait um i don't know for how long q will take it i'm going slightly pause this video and come back when it's done okay so i think upload is done let's go click on a plus after this we'll put it this handsome guy just experiment and you can see right here this is all it did it's actually take my portrait right there and add it as a portrait itself that is i don't necessarily um like what they're doing i wish they give me more um, options what i want to do but it is cropped by itself just keep this in mind if you're uploading the your photo full body or whatever it will cropped to the face itself squares i don't want this person right here so let's go do this so we have a two seconds and if we preview on a two seconds how it's going and you can see morphing it's work okay but it's maybe a little bit too long as well i don't necessarily like the linear so let's go ahead and we're going with the like quad okay let's see what it does and in some cases what we wanted we want going very fast slow merging and fast changing so we go change this let's go preview and you can see how it's fast changing see they could change change very fast so i don't know if i like this i prefer how I said the smooth and easy just a little bit faster and slow down after but it is creating very beautiful natural blending and as well we have two seconds which i think two seconds a little bit too short so let's go ahead try maybe with the six seconds each time okay six six so we'll go with this time six seconds right here okay and of course it's applied to all will be much easier you just click apply to all and it's applied well but i like exercising okay we have it 1200 frames 24 frames we can click and start preview now and you can see it start morphing a little bit smoother and better i think this is work way nicer this way if we do this okay notice right here it is preview and it does have it some blending so it's let's see how much it will be different when ai kick in in this blending for this reason i'm going to now start generating click on generate and again it says it's processing and link sent shortly so this time instead of you staring on the screen i will pause this video and come back when those videos is done rendering okay one of our video is ready so we can preview right here you can see it is uh, landscape but create and let's preview what's happening notice that how it will blend see like this elements it's that smooth and nice blending because it is actually utilize ai to recognize image and see the mountains is growing it's not just change and blending this it is actually changing how shape by recognizing this is why the uh, morphing inside art breather it's a little bit more interesting than just simply going in after effects or other application and simply put it blending one on top of another so it's more bring to kind of life and right here you can see how it's changed i wish there was a little bit more um control done for me a little bit in advanced mode maybe 
when I can specify how do I want to change? Do I want to decrease, increase, or some other things? How it's worked, but it still worked very well. Very nice um, creating this blending animations, how it is done. And uh, again, you can see it's almost like painting in. I think um, to analyze how this work, it will be way more interesting if you have a tree and maybe have a tree growing out. That is another project. Maybe I should work on this, just create that animations because it seems like it does bear or melting snow or some other things that could be actually very well done because I think when it's you going from low to very tall mountains, it does create a nice effect, but it is look more artificial, not natural in this way. And right here, this is one animations, and you can definitely see how the blending happened. Again, if we watch on the preview, it will be just blend fr frame, so you don't see true power of the AI animations that our breather can provide. Okay, so right here we have our actually portrait that we just did it done. And let's look mostly look on the lips and eyes. Let's see how well AI will adjust them. So we'll have it more natural look on this case. Let's go play. Look on this beautiful, beautiful morph on the eyes. It does not blend it. It's just morphing and liquefy. Very well done. This is what actually power of this. It is a real adjustment of the faces. I don't know, maybe six seconds, a little bit too long. Maybe it was should be done four seconds going. But again, it is very nice. I like that keep it eye in one place for the portrait. Very nice on the face morphing when we have it eyes keeping in one place. And yeah, smile, school, all of this gone very, very well. And I do happy about how Art Breeder does some of these animations and blending. It's worked very well. It's recognized as AI very well on where, what would be going, which point stay intact and which adjusting. Um, so definitely I will go and work more around and I hope this video kind of little help you to start with the, the animations inside Art Breeder and see why it's a different, why it is more than just going inside some editors and blend frames together because it is really AI animations based on the features if you work with landscape or portraits or different type scenario. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this interesting and you want to explore more, let me know what subject you want to look. Please help me to share this video post it, give it like, subscribe, just help me support the channel. It's helped me also growing the channel and produce more interesting videos. Thank you again and have a great time creating.
Yeah.